Hey everyone, Andres for the Newsreel here, and welcome to another edition of the Tech Corner. And this time I'll be going over the BlackBerry services running on other Android devices that are not the BlackBerry Priv. And the best part is that you do not need to root your device to have it running. So this app is called the BlackBerry Manager. This is the one by Cobalt. Cobalt, I mentioned him before because he's the one who created the Google Play Store for BlackBerry 10 OS. So here he was able to port out all the apps from BlackBerry for, well, use on other Android devices. And he created an app after just like posting up the patch app. He created the BlackBerry Manager to make it more streamlined as he updates the apps there um, after they're updated on the Google Play Store for use and download through that app now here I just turned over and used the BlackBerry keyboard and as you can see the layouts the same it works just fine now right here for some reason on Google search it does not pull up the predictions I don't know if that was on purpose or something but the predictions do work and I'll show you later this is the BlackBerry hub when you pull down you can open the calendar and I use my default calendar, which is Sunrise, so it automatically opens that one. I do not have the BlackBerry calendar open yet. I'll install it later so you guys can see. And for those familiar, the BlackBerry Hub does not have a natively built text messaging app. So it pulled my other default SMS app open. So BlackBerry Launcher is here, all well and good. All the BlackBerry shortcuts and widgets are available here. And I do use uh, some of these shortcuts along with the launcher. I like that it's clean, just like vanilla Android. Um, and these shortcuts really do come in handy if you apply them. Now, I don't use the BBM shortcuts, but I do use the call shortcuts. But I'm just here to show you how you can just hold and drag over to the home screen. And then from the home screen, if you don't need it, you can just drag up and have it removed. Now, back to BlackBerry Manager. All you got to do is basically tap on a grayed out uh, layout. And I'm going to forward here so you, we can install faster. Uh, this is the BlackBerry calendar that's processing. It takes a little longer than I like for this app, but it, does, it doesn't experience the same all across the board for the other ones. But here it is, the BlackBerry calendar, and the layout is just as, well, just as you find it on the Priv. Um, I can't switch it to the dark theme. I don't think it's available on the BlackBerry Priv, uh, only for BlackBerry 10 OS. I didn't really check. I'll check next time. But as you can see here, you can see right above the letters on the BlackBerry keyboard, you can find the predictions. You can swipe back to erase. You can swipe down to switch over to your numbers and characters and symbols from other ones. Now, I couldn't... Uh, for some reason, because I type in English and Spanish, I couldn't get the, the Spanish to work uh, effectively. Um, it worked initially the first time. I don't know if I have to adjust it every time I mess with this. I hope not because that's very inconvenient because I'll use Swift key and when I switched over to the BlackBerry keyboard, uh, for some reason it just didn't pull up my Espanol. So I hope I can remedy that. It might be a bug. It might be because, well, it's not native to this device. So. Yeah, the BlackBerry Manager, uh, Cobalt put all the instructions here. You need device administration permissions and notification permissions in order for BlackBerry services and the hub and even in some, now the launcher uh, to work. But it's all there for you to review on your own time if you still choose to download this. It's free. It's available. I, I forgot to show you one other thing because I did download the device search. Now, I don't use it because, well, there's no slide out keyboard to automatically launch it. Therefore, I need to make a shortcut, which is inconvenient. But uh, here it is. This is the, 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 I guess, the universal device search from BlackBerry 10 OS as BlackBerry translated for Android. So it does pull uh, everything into this one location. But I don't really use this, so I'm not going to show all that much. And for the BlackBerry launcher, you do have your pop up widgets. But unfortunately, because this is the, I'm using this on the Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge when I swipe from the edge I don't pull the productivity tab unfortunately this is Samsung proprietary stuff so it pulls in um, Samsung's edge display apps so where do you get it you can do a Google search for Cobalt Blackberry Priv and it'll pull the first hit which is on the crackberry site you can download the blackberry manager from there and there's instructions on how to do it this is a great forum a great place to go check it out and consider donating because this guy is really awesome at what he does so thanks a lot guys for checking out this quick video i just wanted to show you a walkthrough of the blackberry services because i do use it on my other devices because this is my go-to launcher um Unfortunately, I would have loved to use this on my BlackBerry Priv, but uh, the hardware on the S7 Edge was just 
too tempting to let go and now that i use samsung pay of course that i'm definitely using this a lot more than the priv so but i'm glad that i'm because it's android and it's open sourced i'm able to pull out everything that i thoroughly enjoy from the blackberry priv and use it here except for the productivity tab but who knows maybe one day uh, cobalt can make it work so yeah thanks for checking this video out this and this for the newsreel signing out you can follow me at the newsreel and check out my website at www.thenewsreel.info 